Hello everyone, in this video we'll be going over how to access the internals of the Alienware Steam Machine and I'll be showing you how to swap out the, uh, the hard drive of the Alienware Steam Machine. There is essentially four screws on the bottom that holds the back plate, the, uh, the bottom plate of the Alienware Steam Machine. The little black um, cover that, I, that you just saw me take off, um, it is not necessary to take it off when you take off the bottom piece, um, the bottom plastic cover to access the internals. I just took it off because uh, I wanted to check if there was a screw underneath, but there wasn't. Um, that space is actually where the, the dongle, the USB dongle for the Steam controller is placed. In case, um, in case you get a Alienware Steam Machine and you don't know where to find the dongle. After you take off the four screws surrounding the back plate, you will have to kind of um, wedge it open. It's, uh, it's clipped in at certain parts and to loosen it, you, you just have to kind of pull on it, pry it loose a little bit and loosen those clips. The reason I got this Alien Alienware Steam Machine was because it went on a 50% off sale on Fry's and I happen to live close to a Fry's and I think I think I got it for about 250 and this is with a I believe a 47 i7 4765T processor, a legit quad-core 8 thread processor and that processor to be honest alone is worth probably about 200 to 250 dollars so um you know this this was a great deal but it is it is also a very uh, time limited deal and i don't believe it was um i don't believe there was much um a lot of um alienware steam machines in stock but in case you do run to run into one of these um and in case you do live close to a fries these deals can be pretty awesome. After you take off the four screws that's holding the bottom plate, there's going to be one more screw that's holding the H, the uh, the hard drive bracket. After you remove that screw, you can just slide the bracket off. The bracket is the bracket has four screws, two on each side, that's holding the 2.5 inch drive, and you just have to loosen those, take them off put your new drive in and screw them back in. This Alienware Steam Machine comes with, I believe, a one terabyte, 72,000 RPM conventional hard drive. I thought it might be worth it for me to upgrade to a SSD to improve performance and just, uh, just to help uh, programs load better. I also saw a pretty good deal on jap.com for a 500 gigabyte, I believe it was a Crucial um, SSD for less than about 90 after a uh, after a 30% off coupon. So in case in case you haven't used Jet before, uh, for your first three purchases you will be able to use a 30% off coupon, which is quite useful for items that are in the 100 to 200 range because the 30 percent off only goes up to i believe 30 dollars so for anything below 200 you can actually get a pretty good decent amount of um decent amount percentage off after you secure your ssd to your s to your hard drive bracket all you have to do is reverse the steps that we did slide it back make sure that your ssd is in the right orientation um, and that the connectors match up and you can slide it back in we'll speed through the boring part where i'm opening the packaging for the SSD. It 
There we go. Now we'll slide the hard drive back in. Make sure you secure it. Secure it with the uh, the screw. And now put the uh, put the bottom plate back on. These the plate clips in a couple of places, so make sure you make sure you secure all the uh, the clipping places. That way you don't have gaps at the bottom after you place the screws back in. And after you've secured the bottom plate, all you have to the only thing left is to place the four screws back into your Alienware steam machine. And that's it. That's how you replace the hard drive for your Alienware steam machine. Thank you very much for watching.